Lucy the Scottish Magpie, welcome to my channel. In today's video we're going to go thrifting. The boys are back at school today after seven weeks of a summer holidays. My um, eldest child, middle son, is, is his first day of high school so my head is <laughs> firmly wedged if you catch my drift. I'm just so worried about him but he'll be fine, I know he'll be fine. But check out my phone every two minutes so anyway we're gonna go thrifting keep my mind occupied um, and see how we get on today okay so usually I would I will show you this um, when I get home too but I had to just quickly because uh, honestly it is so bloody hard to take videos in these charity shops because they're so small and the like the workers are just like they're staring at you because they're that small but look what i got for half price so 1.99 i hope you can see the blue submerso in the purple with the purple i mean i can't tell you the weight the weight of this is unsigned but i'm gonna really try hard to find out who did this but, ah, can you believe i got this for 1.99 it's so heavy. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a mark there. Last one of the day. <laughs> So we are back home and I'm just going to show you my haul. It was more of a glass day today. I, I spent less than £20 because I've got £2 change and I bought Goodfellow and Stephen's Yum Yums. So I think £16 maybe, something like that. So we got um, video footage of this one, which is amazing. I can't tell you how heavy this is. It's like got the turquoise blue submerso effect with the aubergine kind of purple. Um, I believe this is a Czech maker. I cannot pronounce the name. Put it up there. And we got this for $1.99. It was $3.99 half price. Super heavy. Also got a little bit of footage picking this up. $1.99. This is a malachite bowl carved stone with like a brass band around the rim. We got uh, this lovely necklace for $1.99. So it's genuine uh, white pearls. And then these are, uh, they aren't glass. These will be citrine. The citrine stones with genuine pearls and the clasp is marked 375 which is 9 karat gold bonus then I got these two they're like studio pottery uh, candlesticks I thought they were so unique I love the glaze I love them they're almost like angels they might be good for a Christmas decoration, actually. So I might be tempted to keep these for a while. Okay, then more. I've got so much art glass. So two ninety nine for this. I believe it's Murano dish. Fabulous. I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, glowed under UV light. So if you do have a piece of glass that does glow under UV light, put the glowing photo as your first photo on eBay because people specifically go for uranium glass types of glass that have got like a chemical in it that will glow under UV so for one, sorry there's a fly in here is anyone else getting bothered with flies just now? go away so for one pound we got this crackle glass again it's kind of got the submerso blue to the clear Um like perfume bottle but without the stopper but I did 
quite like this great weight that's really what drew me to it was the weight and then for two pounds a fabulous piece of Murano and uh, stunning two pounds so mid-century mid-century and it's funny because I've been researching mid-century glass for our next video sorry two seconds Sorry about that, it wouldn't be a video unless someone phoned. So, all of those items, so we've got one, two, three, four pieces of glass, the malachite dish, gold, pearls and citrine, pottery, candlesticks, this amazing piece. All of these pieces cost me £16, I think, 15 or £16, okay? And then, so that was the thrifting haul from today. So then, was it yesterday or the day before, I just went to Bernardo's and I got two pieces. They were both two pounds each. So I'll show you. The first one is this red lacquer or cinnabar. Um, it's like a pumpkin form dish. So this could be... Chinese, Japanese, Burmese, like it's very, very hard without anything really to go by. I can't find this particular design, like especially the Burmese ones, the pumpkin forms are much more of a, you know, pumpkin form. This really isn't, it's not like theirs. So I don't know. I know it's vintage, but I, I don't know how that one will do. And then this next piece, <laughs> this is so funny. So this was two pounds. Two pounds. So I picked it up and I was like, is this flashed? You know, where they just literally just stain stain the glass and it come the flash comes off though. But I'm looking and looking, I'm like, no, and then it has got a clear base, but I'm like, is it flushed on the inside? I can't think. And then it reminded me of, you know, the watermelon. It's not that the 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 weight of this glass is really good. A polished out pontal at the bottom. And I'm like, it's not flashed, it's real, it's, it is a genuine glass, so the maker is up here. And then I'll also put in um, a sold comparison here. There are no others on eBay um, of the, the rainbow effect, um, especially this size. This is quite the large size. So yeah, I think we could get close to 80, 90 for this one. Although it does have... You know, through the glass, you can kind of see that, that pulled, like, ribbon effect. It's not crackle glass. It's not cracked or anything. But it's almost how they stretch the glass. It's, it's kind of given the glass a few, like, stretch marks that go around the way. But, yeah, I was really happy with that one. No chips or cracks on it. So, honestly, glass galore for me. Like, I can't believe how much glass I've got to put on and for such cheap money like these pieces are amazing so stay tuned hopefully i'll have some good news about these and then i can't wait to do the mid-century glass video especially now because i must have been attracting it or something just by researching the stuff but yeah mid-century glass um stay tuned for that video thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye